Greetings, Grots. May the 4th be with you, and I wanted to show you this awesome Star Wars Legion deal that I got for May the 4th. It's insane how many models that you're going to get in this pack. So let's check it out and let's just see how good a deal you get now for Star Wars Legion. So let's get into it, and this offer was £100, which I think is about $120 US dollars. And there's a lot to, there's a lot. So we're going to check out every box, and oh, there's a mask. Uh, going to be COVID safe. And we'll just see how many models we get to start with. We get a Legion ATRT, a Republic ATRT, sorry. We get Padme Amidala, we get Anakin Skywalker. Um, we've got an Arc Trooper expansion. We have a Phase 1 Clone Trooper expansion. And we also have Republic Separatists expansion and the core box set. So all this, so that's, what is that? Can't even count, there's so many boxes, I've lost count. Three, six, seven boxes for a hundred pounds. And let's just see how many miniatures we actually get. So, let me get into this. So I've actually already started collecting and painting a Rebel Star Wars Legion army, but and I really had no intention of starting the Separatists or the clones, because I'm sure you guys know I am the slowest painter in the world. So, but this deal just seemed like too good an opportunity to to uh, to pass up. And I like the Republic. I always liked the clones in the first couple of movies, so that's what we're looking at. And what do we get? Right, we get the Learn to Play rulebook. It's important to note that this game has a ton of cards and um, counters that every unit comes with count cards and counters. So you don't need to buy any of them separately and you get everything you need. Also, they do rules online that you can just print out online. So additional rules, they don't cost anything extra, they're just printable online. So we get our special Legion dice and different dice for attacks and defense. We also get some basic barricades, so I guess we can put up some little models barricades. We get all of the bases, and then these guys aren't on sprues, so these are clone troopers. And they aren't on sprues, but they do come individually wrapped per model. And yeah, I mean, they're pretty detailed. I'd say there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. I'm not sure how well my autofocus is grabbing that, but um, they're about the same size as a, as, a, as a Warhammer model. Maybe slightly smaller, if you can see. But, uh, I mean, I've got some finished ones that, if you've never seen Legion, it's worth checking out. So, we got a huge, we got a bag of probably 10, maybe more Stormtroopers here. Or Clone Troopers, rather, sorry. We've got the speeder bike, the bark speeder that the, the clones ride on. We have, now we've got guys on sprues, and these are our battle droids. There's quite a lot of sprues, actually. Uh, so many sprues that they won't even come out of this bag in a one -er. Um So maybe like, I don't know how many droids each sprue makes. I see two legs, four legs. So each, each sprue is probably making a couple of battle droids. We get some with rocket launchers. We also have... I guess this is the General Grievous sprue. Uh, he's pretty cool. Uh, you can see his cape, and I guess you can. I wonder if you can make him with four lightsaber. He's got a gun here as well, so I guess you can make him with or without the gun. I'm sure there's going to be a. I wonder if there's an assembly guide somewhere. Let me flip through the book in just a second. We get the Droidicus, uh, which are super cool. I love Droidicus. They kind of were underused in the movies, weren't they? So I'm not really. I didn't buy this for the. The separatists, but uh, you get a good amount of separatists. Looks like maybe like, well, do you know what? I'll flip the box over in a second and I'll tell you how many you actually get. And then this game uses custom rulers for movement because all the bases, the movement's a bit different in this game. But it's not to say it's not good. Uh, so you get these custom rulers and movement markers, and then some bigger bases for I guess the Droidicas, General Grievous, and probably the Speeder Bike. So that is just the core box, and normally I believe that retails for about £80. So in this deal, like I said, it was £100, so you got a huge amount of money off. Um, does it have any assembly? Yeah, look, you've got a couple of pictures of assembly here. So the contents look like you've got 
about 15 battle droids, about 10 clones, General Grievous, Obi-Wan, a speeder and a couple of droidicas. And you've got a couple of pages of assembly instructions. Nice and simple. And yeah, Grievous can have two swords or a sword and a gun or his four lightsaber combination once he's actually killed all the Jedi and taken their swords. So that is one of seven boxes. And uh, I mean, this game feels so good value for money. It says in this box you get 39 miniatures, the eight barricades, the 15 dice, the rulers and the cards and everything you need. So that's a start. Next up we got phase one clone. Phase 1 Clone Trooper Unit Expansion. So typically in this game, if you got like, let's say you got a squad of five Clone Troopers, you could add like a special weapons guy, kind of like you used to be able to add a tactical squad marine or a tactical marine to um, Warhammer 40k. So in this box, we get four more clones. And I believe this is a clone sergeant. He looks like he's got some heavy repeating blaster. This also looks like a clone sergeant with a heavy repeating blaster. This looks like a clone sergeant with, or maybe just a clone with some sort of rocket launcher. And this guy has some sort of plasma rifle thing. Again, you get the cards that you need. You will get instructions for the four guys. Uh, it says it's actually a RPG and a SWL55D laser rifle. Um, I'm not so familiar with the name of the clone weapons, but Regardless, what normally happens, so you wouldn't have a squad of four, but what you would do is you would pay a little bit extra on your other squads to add uh, a model or two to that squad, like a guy with a rocket launcher or something like that. So this little box was four models, so let's keep a tally. That's 43 miniatures so far. Um, this next box then is the Republic Separatist Personnel Expansion. I really... Um, and it seems like when they started making this game, things weren't on sprues, but as time goes on, some of them has been on sprues, because now these are these are um, clones on sprues. And do you know what? You get some really cool helmets here. I wonder if you could do something cool with like 40k have. Do you know what? That would get um, that would get me some heat over on the Blood Angels Commander channel, wouldn't it? If we had a <laughs> If we had a, a, a Terminator with a clone helmet, maybe we'll do that if there's plenty of helmets. So again, it looks like you've got four more miniatures, uh, some different weapon options, you've got the cards, and typically typically inside these little boxes, or these little packages that you get in ev with every model, you've got the tokens they'll need, and you've got some cards, such as special abilities they could do, air support. You also get these, these are essentially your data sheets. Um, so this is like clone commander and then it'll tell you uh, like his abilities and down here he's got an advanced combat training and he's also got a DC-15 blast rifle. And, and, and these little pips at the bottom are the colour of dice that you roll when you're using them in melee or in range combat. And um, yeah, so each unit has a card. Um, I think at some point we'll probably do something Legion on the channel. Right, so what were we at? We were at 47 miniatures so far. Remember, this was just a hundred bucks, so if we once we pass 50, it's basically two bucks a miniature, which is so good value. Um, I've, I mean, recently Warhammer 40k would charge you like 40 bucks for five miniatures, so that's the equivalent of what, like eight pounds a miniature? I mean, these guys are gonna have to pay, the guys that made Legion are obviously gonna have to pay Disney some sort of license fee to even do this game. So the fact that they can sell the miniatures for two bucks a time, this is amazing. So these guys, these are so cool. They are clones with flight sands. Um, so I guess some have jetpacks, most have blast rifles. These are almost like, you could paint these 501st, like the, the clones from episode two. The flight stands look very much like Warhammer 40k flight stands again, it's clones on sprues. It's nice to see they moved on sprues, I prefer them on sprues than the little bundles that you get in the core set. And you can see here, nice detailed instructions. And again, you've got all your cards, so how many, how many guys did I get in here? Um, contains seven more, so that, what were we at? We were at 39 plus 8, so we're basically at 54 miniatures at this point. Let's keep going. I'll leave the two characters to last. I guess we'll look at the walker. And what's interesting is in the in the starter set for the Rebel Alliance, you got an ATRT walker, which is this walker that you see here. 
and the ATRT Walker. I guess maybe this means you could use this for both factions. I'm not sure if the cards are a little bit different or something and you, maybe you can't use it. Oh, and this guy used to, he definitely didn't used to be on a sprue either. So he's now on a sprue and what's, again, cards, bases. What's cool with the bases is you get these sort of like, the bases have these chunks out of them so that the movement, the for moving, you put the thing into the base and then you pick the model up and put it at the other end of the, at the measure so it's like uh, and and it uses like basically so it's a bit more tactical like you can't do like a 360 spin a bit like how you used to do it in 40k where you could only get so many turns and stuff on a tank I mean it makes sense on a big walker like this isn't going to be able to rotate super fast right um, so yeah another I guess that's just one model but it's a decent sized model for putting it up to 54 models and yeah I mean if you if you have the Empire set, or the Rebel set, then you basically have the same guy. I can't get the box closed, I'm not gonna try. You basically have the same guy, but he's on a slightly different, you know, it's a clone on the Walker as opposed to a member of the Rebel Alliance. Right, a very quick cut there. What I thought I would do is just go and grab my Rebel ATRT. So you can kind of see the size of him. And like I said, this, this guy is very similar. I wonder if you can use him in both armies. I'm not 100% sure. But I also grabbed a Primaris Marine here. So you can kind of see the size differential between say the Walker and the Space Marine. I would say the Space Marine is probably 20 or 30% bigger. Um, grab a Stormtrooper next to him. So, I mean, at that point they don't look too much different. Uh, but the Marine is definitely a good, he's more chunky, maybe 10%. 10, 15, 20, I don't know. He, he, they're definitely bigger. I uh, also grabbed some other unfinished ones I have, haven't have painted. So, uh, Boba Fett. And, you know, I got the speeder bikes from Hoth. They, these guys came in the starter set for the Rebels. And then I also bought the snow speeder from Hoth. I'm really not happy with how I've painted this. Um, I have tried a bunch of different techniques. I'm not there with it yet. So I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board with that. Anyway, now that you've seen some of the scale of the miniatures, let's open up the last two boxes. So I couldn't get that closed yet. Uh, and then the last two were, we got Padme. And t sometimes these uh, characters come with different options. You know, I bought, um, well, I've, I've seen some of the newer ones and I, I think some of the older ones as well come with different options. But I think the one that I bought was Sabine from Rebels and she, I think she could have a blaster or I think she could have um, the Darksaber, right? So it looks like Padme... Well, do you know what? We're going to look at the instructions. Yeah, so Padme can have a little like snubber pistol, I guess or a bit more serious like blaster rifle like the clones have. Again, that gives you some customization when you're building these guys, which is cool. So that's model 55 and then model 56. I don't know, can't get him in her back in the box either. Uh, don't know if we've saved the best for last, but I mean, he is pivotable to the Star Wars franchise, right? We have none other than Anakin before he's turned into Darth Vader. And um, again, all the new characters seem to be on sprues, it's just the original launch sets that are not. And Anakin, has he got weapon options? He can hold a lightsaber with two hands, or he can hold it with one in sort of like an open force push stance. So very cool. Um, so 56 models there for 100, U, uh, 100 UK pounds, which is essentially about 120 US dollars. So even if you convert, if you if you look at this in terms of US dollars, you're about two dollars a miniature. So I would say for a branded game that is actually very fun to play, and it, from my experience, seems pretty well balanced. Keep an eye out, Star Wars Legion. This was a May the 4th deal. They do have deals from time to time. I'm not sure if you can still get this, but check your local retailers. I got this from the local shop in the area that I'm in and overall very impressed. Thanks so much for watching and staying to the end of the video. You can see my Legion has just appeared on the shelf up here. That's a project for another day. If you'd like to see any more Legion content on the Grots channel, then please leave us a comment with what you'd like to discuss. If not, we'll be back as normal for our podcast next week. I will catch you all soon, Grotz.
Peace.